Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the world of trade with a fun, easy guide to understanding INCO terms versus shipping terms. If you've ever scratched your head wondering about these terms during your business or trade studies, worry no more. I'm here to break it down for you. Let's start with INCO terms, short for International Commercial Terms. These are a series of predefined commercial terms published by the International Chamber of Commerce. They're like the rules of the game for global trade, defining the responsibilities of buyers and sellers involving the delivery of goods. For example, take the term FOB free on board. This means the seller clears the goods for export and loads them on board a vessel chosen by the buyer. So if I'm selling paddle boards from California to my buyer in Australia, my responsibility ends when those boards are on the ship. After that, it's all on my buyer to handle the journey. Now switch gears to shipping terms. Think of these as the detailed instructions on a game board, guiding exactly how the pieces move, in our case, the goods. These terms include details about the loading, unloading, and transportation of products. They answer the how and when things will happen once the products start their journey. Let's say our paddle boards are now sailing to Australia. The shipping terms will specify whether they need to be below deck, the type of packaging required to prevent sea damage, and who pays for the insurance during transit. See, it's all about the nitty-gritty. Imagine Inco terms as the broad strokes of a painting, and shipping terms as the detailed brushwork that completes the picture. Both are crucial for the masterpiece, which in our case is successful international trade. Now why should you care? Well, whether you're a budding entrepreneur or a curious student, knowing these terms can save you from costly misunderstandings and disputes. It's like knowing the rules before playing the game. It makes you a smarter player in the global market. Before we wrap up, here's a little trade humor for you. Why did the trade deal go to therapy? Because it had too many unresolved terms. All right, jokes aside, if you found this explanation helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment below with your thoughts or questions. And here's a parting quote to mull over. Trade is not about goods. Trade is about information. Goods sit in the warehouse until information moves them. So keep learning, keep trading smart. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.